when you step out your door here, you can instantly be in a place that is wilderness. The quality of life is what makes Whistler unique and why we continue to want to be here. The town of Whistler is always changing depending on how long you've been here, how old you are, who your friends are, but it's pretty much whatever you want it to be, which is cool because whatever you're looking for, you're going to find it. The goal of Four Lease is a community rather than product. So we host lots of uh, events and parties and fundraisers, and we showcase local artists. A lot of guests that come to Whistler that want to check out artists will come to our space. You know, like the opera scene in Whistler is like as close as it gets to Europe kind of opera scene, you know, like Merlin's and Longhorn and GLC. It's really cool to have one place that kind of has it all. Blackcomb's terrain is, I'd say it's very European. It's got lots of shoots, it's got steeps, it's got trees, we get tons of snow. Long vertical, you know, and that's really unique. Whistler and Blackcomb definitely have a lot of differences and I love to ski Blackcomb on the storm days. It's definitely where I spend most of my time, but there's nothing that beats Whistler on a sunny alpine day. We have the full gamut. You can have a super fun time if you're an intermediate skier cruising the blue runs and the green runs here, and then if you're an expert skier, well, this is where you want to come. Just Spanky's on its own, it's kind of like mind-blowing in that sense. It's just like huge big bowls and it's pretty much all open so you can go wherever you want. If you're into hucking cliffs or just kind of getting radical on the steeps and you can really test yourself as a skier in Spanky's Ladder and I think that's what makes it really special. Wow. We're at the Crystal Hut here on Blackcomb and sunshine, beautiful coast mountains, and the best waffle in the Pacific Northwest. You know, if it's powdery, if we got snow to the valley, then the, the long runs and the trees down in Whistler are incredible, but um, off the peak. There's endless amounts of stuff to ski off the peak. The scene on the mountain and the scene in the village, it's like two different worlds. The Longhorns pumping and the party's happening. And whether or not you want to be part of that party, that's your choice. We have a lot going on here for a little town and the restaurants that we have are some of the top restaurants in the, in the province, if not in the country. Sushi Village has been a very iconic area. Like, I think that's kind of like a thing you shouldn't really miss out on. Drink some sake and eat some really good sushi and those guys have been around for so long. It's kind of like the go-to spot when you're rolling up into town, you want to grab some local Whistler brew. It's sweet to stop off and function, stop at Coast Mountain Brewing. Welcome to Coast Mountain Brewing. This is our uh, tasting room here. We uh, opened our doors September 1st, uh, 2016. We got a 27 person tasting lounge where you can come in and enjoy eight different craft beers produced right here on site. So come on down and enjoy. Whistler's awesome because it draws a lot of different types of people. It draws a lot of skiers, obviously, that are trying to have an awesome time up here, but it's also drawing these mountains, just a whole different creative culture. I was on the ski patrol for 37 years. When I came here, we didn't have a doctor. We didn't have a grocery store. The first bank was in a trailer and someone stole the trailer. So what we have in the valley now, compared to then, is just incredible. 
beside the whole hustle and bustle of Whistler Blackcomb, you know, like there's actually a strong sense of community. And I think that's what keeps me here between the mountains and the people in town, you know, like it brings all sorts of people here together and you kind of all have that similar kind of love for the mountains.